What's up guys, Nico here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wacom Intuos Pen & Touch as well as the Wacom Intuos Pro and decide which one is right for you depending on the type of work that you like to do. Now, the model in front of me is actually the Intuos 5, which is the previous version of the Intuos Pro, but they're basically the same except for the buttons as well as the wireless module which is included with the Pro now. Everything that I talk about in this video will be in the links down below so you can go check that out right now or after you watch this video. So now let's first start and look at the pens. This is the pen of the Intuos Pen and & Touch and it's very much improved from the previous model Bamboo Tablets. It's got a more ergonomic feel. It's got your standard replaceable nibs as well as the two programmable keys. Now the Intuos Pro is definitely a step above the Intuos Pen and & Touch. It's got a way more ergonomic feel. The grip is more rubbery so it's nice and soft. You do get the two buttons as well, and you do get the eraser at the tip. One thing to note, however, is that this pen is unique in that it's got many different types of nibs that you can use at the end for different types of textures that you want to emulate. Now this is the surface of the Intuos Pen and & Touch, and as you can see, the active area takes up a big part of the actual physical area and it's got 1024 pressure levels which is half the pressure levels of the Intuos Pro so although that sounds a lot less it's not that bad in use it's actually a lot and more than enough for most people. You get your four keys at the top and it's nice that they include four programmable keys but what you'll note is that they're on both sides of the tablet, which is kind of weird when you're using it because you usually only use one side and one hand for the buttons that you press as the other hand is occupied by the pen itself. In the back, you get your modules for your wireless kit if you choose to use one as well as an option to change the, the tips, the nibs that are hidden there. On the top, you get a switch for your on and off for the touch and you get the Wacom logo, which is also a pen holder. You do get the area for the wireless kit, and that's basically it for the physical hardware of the Intuos Pen & Touch. Now the Intuos Pro is at a whole nother level. You'll see that it has a lot more buttons. This medium-sized tablet has eight buttons, which you can program, which is double of what you get on the Intuos Pen & Touch. You also get this rotating wheel, which you can actually program to four things, and the button in the middle will change the setting that it's on. So you can use this for things like rotating your canvas, changing the size of your brush, uh, zooming in and zooming out, and that sort of thing, which makes it a lot easier when you're using Photoshop to paint or draw. You'll also notice that the physical area outside of the active area is a lot larger, and it's got a nice rubbery feel. And overall, it just feels a little bit more rugged, here you can see the actual size difference of the Intuos Small and the Intuos Pro. One thing you want to note also is that this is an ambidextrous tablet. So unlike the Intuos, you can actually flip this around depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed. And the probably the most important difference is that the Intuos Pro actually has tilt sensitivity. It's got 60 levels of tilt sensitivity. So depending on what angle your pen is, it's going to register that stroke differently so you can get nice and unique strokes depending on how your pen is positioned. The Intuos Pen & Touch, on the other hand, does not have this feature no matter how much you try. And although it's not a big deal for most, for some people it should be the deal breaker. Now here you have both tablets together, and overall they're both great tablets, but they're targeted to different people. I'd say that the Intuos Pen & Touch is more for the beginner, and also for the photographer that doesn't need too much of the added features, while the Intuos Pro is for those people that already know that this is what they want to do, and this what they want to pursue, and get that extra hand in creating the pieces that they want to. But overall, again, they're great tablets, and you will not go wrong with either of them. I'll have the links to both tablets down below in the description box and as always I'll see you guys in the next video.